Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Well we've been doing a lot of horror effects recently such as this one with the gallery we did recently. And these are great on desktop but as a lot of people have commented mobile first which is true but you don't want to neglect your desktop folks especially now more people are working at home. But Divi gives you a great option to do different versions. So you can have one version for desktop, another version for tablet, another version for mobile. So for instance, let's go in here. I'm gonna go down and I'm gonna clone this gallery twice. In other words, make two copies of it. So I think I'll clone the section that it's sitting in, which is the blue tab for a section. Two little square boxes to clone. There's once, twice. So we should have three of the same here. Okay, in this first one, I'm going to leave this just as it is, and we're going to display this one on desktop with the hover effect. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go over to Advanced and Visibility. And I'm going to disable this one on phone and tablet. So it's just going to display on desktop this particular section. You can do this with rows and modules also. Okay, let's go down to our next one. I'm going to go into this section and just have this one on tablet. And I'm going to change the background color so you can tell the difference. So I'm going to go into this one. Let's make this background blue. Great, and I'm going to save that. I'm going to go into this little gallery right here. Dark tab for a module, green tab for the row. I'm going to the module. I'm going to take away the class that gave it that zoom factor. So if we go over to the advanced tab, CSS ID and classes there's the class we gave it to make it zoom so if I just take that away that'll take the hover effect away and it'll just be the regular ga gallery as it was before and again like I say I wanted to make this section only visible on tablet so again over to the advanced tab visibility hide on phone desktop And then our third one right here, I'm going to do the same. I'm going to take the hover effect away by simply going into it and taking that class away that we made for it. And just so we can tell the difference, I'm going to make this background perhaps red or green or something. And let's hide this on desktop and tablet. So again, advanced visibility and I'm going to hide it on desktop and tablet so it'll only appear on phone and we're on desktop view mode right now so you see the green one and the blue one are slightly lightened up in color to let you know they're not visible in this mode if I just save that and we go to tablet mode you'll notice the white one and the green one are that way so if I go to tablet The blue one is in full color, which is for the tablet, and the green one and the white one are slightly grayed out. So let's save this and check how it's gonna work in the real world. And exit the Visual Builder. Okay, so I'm on desktop, and there's our desktop version. As you can see, the other two versions are not visible. Now I'm using Google Chrome here with the great inspector tool, so if I hit F12, I can toggle my responsive toggle on down here if I toggle this one and that's on an iPad Air and as you can see it's the one with the blue background there and that hover effect is no longer working if I turn that off go back to desktop it's the white one and we still got our hover effect we turn this back on like I say that was for an iPad make it so you can see it let's change it to perhaps an iPhone or something like that iPhone 12 Pro Let's make it a decent size so you can see and as you can see we've got the one with the green background now and no hover effect and that's a great way of doing different sections with different functions for different devices and we can get rid of this now so there you go guys there's how to hide or show different sections rows or even modules on tablet desktop and mobile really useful little feature a lot of people don't use that but it's really worthwhile especially for hover effects because they really only work effectively on desktop computers so i hope you've enjoyed this today 
and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.